Now, one of the things that we know about Neo is that, my dear friends, when it comes to their flagship model, the ET9, there is no car out there in the world in the same segment as the ET9, which is to a premium brand that can compete with, uh, with this model in terms of, I suppose, the looks, the technology, the capabilities, the safety features. There's a lot that we've discussed about this. I mean, the active suspension is one of the key selling points of this vehicle because there is no car out there with the kind of suspensions. When you look into the premium brand, premium brands, right? There is no car out there in the market that is having the kind of suspensions that the Neo 89 has. And this, my dear friends, like I said, it has been a very good selling point for for Neo, right? Which is something that is great. I mean, they we were talking about the steer by wire that Mercedes, because maybe of what they saw from Neo, they are going to start introducing the steer by wire models because they realize the capabilities, abilities of what it can do, which is something that is just so great. And the Neo CEO said that, uh, look, they don't plagiarize, they are the ones that are initiating these technologies, but of course, they. They, they were also talking to, 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 to your BBAs, BMW, Mercedes, Audi, to say that, look, their technology is unique. You will never find it out there. But seeing Mercedes, of course, coming to want to use their by wire, which was started or has been successfully implemented by, by NEO, I think this speaks volumes about NEO. Now, the reason why I'm telling you about all this NEO technology on the ET9 is because... Uh, yesterday, during the ES6, EC6 launch, uh, President of New York revealed something very interesting ex about the active suspension of the ET9. He said there will be some models that will be using the NEO's ET9 active suspension, which, if you are to think very deep, you will realize already the models that are going to come with, 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 the, with that feature, because we know that it's not going to be ET5, ET5 Touring, ES6 and EC6 because these brands are be somewhere between 300 and 400,000 RMB. Therefore, introducing a step by wire on these brands, Neo won't make a lot of money from those. In terms of the vehicle margins will be compromised. And therefore, it leaves us with four models that I think Neo intends on introducing the step active suspension into, which is the EC7, ES7. And that is, that's if the ES7 is still coming back because there are also rumors saying that ES8, EC7 could merge and become one, one model, but we'll see. So EC7, ES7, ES8, and ET7, all those four models are going to come with the step-by-wire technology. And can I tell you something? If they can put the step-by-wire on those models, it's lights out, I'm telling you, my dear friends, because... Right now, it won't just be the ET9 coming with the, with this, with the, and if they put those active suspension onto those four models, it's going to be lights out because it will mean that it's not only the ET9 under the new brand that you can get the active suspension or that kind of active suspension like the one we see on the ET9, but there will also be other four models uh, which I just mentioned to you now that are going to be utilizing that active suspension. I mean, active suspension of the ET9. It's one of the best selling points for the ET9. There are people that are buying the ET9 because of the compatibility in the car. There are people that are buying the ET9 because of the step by wire. But mostly, most people are buying Neo because of its capabilities with uh, the active suspension. The, 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 the fact that it can, be, it can be able to absorb impact pretty fast. That is what is resulting or making people to like Neo, people to want to buy Neo, which is something that is very, very good. So I am happy, I am excited getting to hear this from the from the Neo president, highlighting that uh, we could see, of course, active suspension be featured on uh, 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 the other models of Neo that could be coming. But I'm quite certain that 85 Touring or, or 85 Mid-Seed and ES6, EC6 might not have that. And Neo introducing those to those other four and four models esc ec7 es7 es8 and et7 it will of course uh, boost the deliveries the sales that they get to generate uh, from those cars which is something that is great something that is very very exciting and we look forward to that so yeah man i am very happy 
about this and I thought I'd come and give you this quick update. Yesterday, like I said, the ES6, EC6 were successfully launched. The deliveries are starting on a Tuesday next week and it's just going to be so crazy. In terms of deliveries this year, it's going to be so crazy. It's just going to be so massive and boy, I, I, I cannot wait, man, to see the numbers for May because May chances are very high now. In fact, I confirmed it yesterday or I called it yesterday rather to say that I think we can also uh, put our minds onto an all-time high in terms of deliveries or sales coming from NEO from now in May, which is something that is very, very good. You will know that if for NEO to report or generate a 100% delivery growth rate, they need to be selling over 40,000 um, this month in May because last year, May, that is where we saw NEO starting to deliver the 20,000 deliveries consistently until the end of December, right? Where we saw December having the all-time high of over 30,000 de deliveries or car made, right? Car sold, which is something that is good. So NEO needs to get at least 40,000, which do you think they are going to get it? Let's just wait. Let's see. Because pre-orders of the ES6, EC6 were opened last week and orders opened yesterday. And those that place their pre-orders are going to receive their cars which is something that is great and we look forward to that. So I am happy, I am excited and I thought I'd come and give you this quick update. Blue sky is coming long term will win. Those that are persevering will most definitely be rewarded with time to know that Neo intends on using the active suspension of the ET9. I think these are great news. These are wonderful, massive news and I think we can brace ourselves for what's coming because who knows? those cars could find themselves selling even much better, way better than they were selling because ET7, I think right now it's selling like an average of 500 cars, ES8, average of 500 cars, right? And the, if with the introduction of the uh, active suspension, I can safely see them selling or uh, their average doubling in, uh, by 100% to maybe around uh, uh, 1,000, 2,000, on a month to month in terms of sales that they are individually generating because of the active suspension that they would have launched or introduced to the model. So I, these are the good news that I have for you on this video and tell me what you think about this. 89 it continues to be delivered to people and yesterday I think we saw a sneak peek of and the new CEO uh, delivering the 89 or handing over the 89 to one of the Chinese uh, uh, CEO or executive of a big company which is something that we've been seeing quite quite often and it's always good to see the CEOs of Chinese companies coming and buy this Neo 89 which is something that is great something that is exciting one thing that we learned about the 89 yesterday during the launch of the uh, ES6 and EC6 is that um, 89 uses two Shenji uh, autonomous driving chip from NEO and I think it makes sense because that is the of course flagship model which because this is something that because the features in that car are just so so massive so it is always good to say to see that uh, so it is so it is not something that of course we we have to 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 to, to think a lot about right I mean the upcoming models they will be using one the ES6, EC6 and the other models will be using one new chip or autonomous driving chip and this my friends it's something that is great and we we just hope the performance gets to be enhanced and we can we can see but already we are seeing some of the features I mean I gave you videos of some of the features AES uh, uh, feature or technology that is coming very soon and all the other stuff and my dear friends we can expect even great things to come in the future or even more great things to come. So like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to, 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 to share this video to your friends, those that are, that are watching NEO closely because it's important to know what is happening around NEO. It is important to know what NEO is busy with that could make it to flourish in the future. Blue Sky is coming long term, that's all from me and God bless you all.